China's rumored J-50 stealth fighter has suddenly come into focus with leaked images that show design choices few expected. A tailless body, swiveling wingtips, and thrust vectoring nozzles suggest a leap towards sixth generation flight. If authentic, this prototype marks a turning point in how China approaches air technology. In this video, we'll break down what these images reveal and explain what the J-50 means in the wider race for advanced aerospace dominance. The clearest photos yet of China's alleged J-50 stealth jet reveal an aircraft packed with unusual design elements that appear to push beyond the familiar fifth-generation mold. Starting with the nose, analysts describe it as a long, diamond-shaped profile that blends smoothly into the canopy. Such shaping is consistent with stealth optimization, reducing radar returns while providing a streamlined aerodynamic surface. Beneath this nose sits an Electro-Optical Targeting System Enclosure, or YOTS, a feature similar to what is carried on American platforms like the F-35. This placement suggests a focus on advanced sensor fusion, allowing pilots to receive targeting and navigation data without protruding components that would compromise stealth. Moving back along the fuselage, the images show trapezoidal inlets that employ a diverterless supersonic inlet arrangement are notable because they eliminate the need for complex splitter plates or moving ramps while still managing airflow into the engines. This design not only reduces weight and mechanical complexity, but also improves stealth by limiting exposed surfaces. The engines themselves appear to terminate in rectangular, two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles. These nozzles are particularly interesting because they have serrated edges, a detail long associated with radar and infrared signature reduction. Two-dimensional vectoring, famously employed on the F-22 Raptor, provides enhanced pitch control and, when paired with other aerodynamic aids, can contribute to superior maneuverability without compromising stealth. Perhaps the most striking feature, however, is the set of swiveling wingtips. Unlike traditional fixed tips, these appear deflected downward in the leaked images, leading experts to conclude that they function as stability aids. A tailless aircraft lacks vertical stabilizers, which normally help maintain directional stability. By incorporating movable wingtips, engineers can regain control authority, especially during slow-speed operations or high-angle maneuvers. The spine of the aircraft also contains small bulges visible just behind the cockpit. While their function is uncertain, some speculate they could be auxiliary inlet doors or housings for distributed aperture system sensors further enhancing situational awareness. While the leaked images of the J-50 appear convincing, the question of authenticity remains central. Analysts like Tyler Rogaway of the War Zone argue that the photos are likely genuine because they align closely with earlier, lower-resolution sightings and known design predictions. The new photos provide sharper clarity, showing cockpit contours, nozzle edges, and wingtip deflections that are difficult to fake convincingly. That said, no official Chinese source has confirmed the release, leaving the origin of these images uncertain, which only deepens the intrigue surrounding the project. One element that raises debate is the absence of a nose-mounted air data boom. Typically, prototype aircraft carry such equipment to measure airflow during early testing phases. The lack of one here could suggest two possibilities. Either the design has matured past needing such instrumentation, or this is a separate prototype built to test different systems. A similar practice was observed during America's Joint Strike Fighter competition, where Boeing produced multiple X-32 variants with visible design differences. Adding to the credibility of the program, credible reports point to a maiden flight on December 26, 2024. Interestingly, that date coincided with the reported first flight of Chengdu's competing J-36 project. Since then, sightings throughout 2025, including clearer photographs and taxiing footage, have reinforced the idea that China is actively flying and refining this platform. Observers note that the steady pace of new imagery makes it harder to dismiss these reports as coincidental or purely staged events. Skeptics argue the possibility of deliberate disinformation. By releasing images, China could be signaling progress that may or may not match reality, forcing rivals to react or divert resources. However, 
The consistency between multiple sightings and the technical coherence of the design make this explanation less persuasive. The details observed in the nozzles, intakes, and fuselage match what would be expected from a genuine test article, not a hasty mock-up, which reinforces the case for authenticity. In terms of development stage, most experts categorize the J-50 as sitting between a technology demonstrator and a production representative prototype. Understanding the J-50 requires placing it in China's broader aerospace strategy. Unlike Chengdu, which focuses on the larger two-seat J-36 or JHXX, Xinyang's J-50 is a single-seat, sleeker design. This mirrors past patterns in Chinese aviation, where different firms develop parallel projects, effectively competing to win government favor. In this case, Xinyang may be positioning the J-50 as a lighter, more agile complement to Chengdu's heavier design. For the People's Liberation Army Air Force, pursuing multiple sixth-generation options provides strategic flexibility. It allows leaders to select the airframe best suited to evolving missions or even to adopt both for different roles. Reports suggest that official priorities currently lean toward the J-36, but the J-50 still represents an important hedge and a demonstration of Xinyang's design capabilities. Globally, the timing matters. The United States is developing its own next-generation air dominance program, widely expected to reach operational service around 2030. If China can field an advanced prototype years earlier, even in limited numbers, it narrows the technological gap and alters the perception of parity in advanced aviation. Leaking images of the J-50, therefore, may serve not only internal testing needs, but also external signaling to other nations. From a technological perspective, the J-50 embodies concepts associated with sixth-generation aircraft, tailless stealth shaping, thrust vectoring for extreme maneuverability, and integrated sensor systems. These features, if brought to maturity, could improve survivability in contested environments, expand operational flexibility, and reduce reliance on traditional vertical tails and stabilizers. Such advancements would not only boost China's aerospace standing, but also influence how other nations approach their next-gen fighter programs. The strategic implications extend beyond performance. Demonstrating a tailless, Flight-worthy stealth aircraft shows that China is investing in the kind of disruptive technologies that could shape future air operations. For rivals, this means accelerated timelines, greater investment, and closer scrutiny of China's aerospace sector. For China, it presents an opportunity to showcase indigenous innovation and reduce its dependence on catching up to foreign designs. Ultimately, the J-50 is more than just a prototype. It is a signal a message that China is not only participating in the race towards sixth-generation air power, but may already have tangible results to show. The J-50's leaked images give us a rare look at a stealth design that challenges expectations, tailless shaping, thrust vectoring, and swiveling wingtips that could define the next era of flight. Whether this prototype matures into a production aircraft or remains a demonstrator, it has already changed perceptions of China's aerospace capabilities. What matters now is how this project evolves, how rivals respond, and whether the J-50 proves to be a true step into sixth-generation air power. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.